hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I created this look using the makeup Shayla perception palette so I'll show you how I created this look in this video and um, I hope you guys enjoy um, but yeah so if you want to see how I created this look just keep on watching today I am going in and boom, 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 making this palette the star of the show I'm gonna go ahead and use this today it's so pretty hmm. um, yeah so I'm definitely popping this bad boy on my lid I don't really know what I'm gonna do tried something new with my background just to kind of like keep there's there was too much noise going on with all my scarves hanging on the wall so I wanted to you know try to keep all focus on this bad boy right here so um yeah anyways so uh let's see let's go in with culture first culture's like a so like a soft peach transition color looks like for me let's go ahead and with culture let's see what that does and i'm using the color pop blending brush the e2 blending brush okay that one it's not really showing up on camera at all actually but i can see it looking in the mirror not even my magnified mirror, just like the regular mirror that comes with it. I can see it. It looks like peachy in the pan, but it looks pink on my lid. It's kinda... um, so I'm going to do that. Say I'm going to take the same brush I'm using and I'm going to go in with the color thick. Oh, okay. Not too bad. See, I brought y'all up close and all the way personal. So, yeah. I want to see if you got, oh yeah, there we go. It's picking up the color now. So I'm definitely just keeping this in my crease. Just to kind of. I used my skin color concealer to do to, to um, prep my lids but if you want color to show up a lot more obviously you would use like a lighter color or like a white base so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Sephora Pro featherweight crease brush I'm gonna go in with that color played out right here This color looks very pigmented based on the um, the kickback. Oh, yeah, that looks, yeah, that. It wouldn't be no palette without a, a matte brown. Pop that shit in that crease. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with my NARS Creme Concealer and I'm going to take my MAC 242 brush and I'm going to cut this crease. Now, I'm not a crease cutter, but I definitely want to lay this down so that the color I'm about to use has something to stick to. So this may take me a little bit because <laughs> I'm not a crease cutter like I said. Alright, so with this palette, I've decided that I kind of, it's either between shade or sassy, but this is shade, and this is sassy. Uh, let's do, I want to do sassy, let's do sassy. Okay, 
So finished my eyes and now I'm moving on to the last couple of things which is highlighter and lips, okay? So for highlighter, I purchased the Pose highlighter. I didn't get the Boomin one because I like gold highlighters. I have geared more towards the rose gold highlighters and this one was just speaking to me. So I was like, damn, hell yeah. And it was only $6, I believe this was $6. It was, no, this was $7, $7. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this and let's see. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. That just literally intensified my whole look like it went from oh wow that truly is beautiful i just can't i need to i need to slow it down because i'm gonna use so much of it so now that i'm fully fully done with my face this highlighter i am dead okay i am like i i'm That highlighter is amazing. Wow. I actually think I like loose highlighter. I don't even know because I've never used a loose highlighter before. Now I'm gonna go in with that color Quickie. Okay. That's not too bad. It looks more pink on, but it doesn't look bad. And I'm gonna go in with the clear gloss that she has and Neat Freak to go over this. Ooh, okay. All right, that, that ends it, that clears it up. That's, that's the end of it. I'm going to go over some of my favorite things from this collection. Number one is this highlighter. I am dead at this highlighter, like it's beautiful. Like. It's, it's very like um, soft. It's not like a harsh highlighter. It's soft. I like how it went on and how, the, how easy it blended. Like, like I said, when you're looking at me, you can see my nose highlight, but you can't really see that streak of highlight. When I turn is when you're like, damn girl. So yeah, definitely the highlighter is my top. Obviously come next is the palette. I really, really like my eye look. Um, it really does, it really does perform very well. There's a few times I was like, mm, but in the end, it really did all come together pretty well and I really enjoy it. I really like that palette and I plan on using it a lot. Um, yeah, so definitely, if you don't have this collection, you you definitely wanna look into it. The stuff was very affordable. This highlighter was $7. The lipstick was $6. Now the eyeshadow palette, was a little bit more on the expensive side. I believe like ColourPop, their eyeshadow palettes are normally like $18. This eyeshadow palette was $23, um, which still isn't bad, but I mean, for what you're getting, I mean, for what you're getting, it's really good. So I'm definitely really, really happy that I got this palette. So thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, this palette's amazing. This collection is amazing and I say amazing a lot <laughs> um, if you don't have it you need it get it cop it make some looks with it you will not be disappointed um, but yeah so remember to like comment subscribe uh, drop down some comments down below you know help you girl out get me out there um, yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye